Hello, everybody. Donkey here. Yes, we are back with some more Euro Truck. This time we're taking coal from Cardiff to Manchester. And I mean, look at this nice green scammy. Alright, so let's uh, get into it. Let's start her up. And uh, I need a, a route advisor. Obviously, you can't see the route advisor, but let's get some interior lights and uh, we can actually change this. I think we finally found the way out. <laughs> that was really confusing, but we finally got it. Basically out of the uh, out of that quarry. That was a bit of a uh, a bit of a mission to get out of there, but all right, we finally made it out. So we are taking this uh, sort of bucket of coal from Cardiff to Manchester in this sort of hopper. So, not not a extremely heavy load, and uh, not really an exciting one, but it's something different at least. I always try and take different trailers. I mean, I think there's. There's so many in this site on the mod side of things. You know, you can get boats and stuff, which is uh, super cool. And uh, there we go, we're onto the main road now. And we can take a quick look. Okay. Scania revs up quite quick. There's a guy behind me now. Barely about seeing beyond the trailer there. This hill's gonna be quite tough. <laughs> Hopefully we can make it up there. Always going for the overtake. Fair fair enough. Ooh, that hill was pretty steep for this heavy load. At least we've got some downhills now. A bit of a rocky start there. Literally, <laughs> but uh, I'm getting out of that quarry. I just did not know which way was up. 
as the uh, the map is all flat, so there's no uh, there's no indicator. We got a train coming as well. those sort of style trains in England. Yeah, that was more of a German thing that was. time around. It seems that they're filling them less and less the more I get into this. But hopefully soon we'll be able to buy our own truck. I'm making quite a bit. Still using the uh, the split gears, just because it's a little bit easier, um, especially with a G29 shifter. For some reason the G27 shifter's got buttons on it, which looks way cooler. Um, you can actually use the G27 shifters, I found out, with the G29 if you get one. Um, not many people sell them. Like, you, you can't buy them officially anymore, but not a lot of people sell the shifters separately. But uh, if you can pick up a second hand one, that'd be definitely get it. Um, and uh, to make it work with the G29, you actually need to buy like a little adapter. And uh, it allows you to use the shifter sort of like a, as a separate device. So maybe in the future I'll pick up a G27 shifter, but. Right now, the, the G29 is good enough. And uh, there's probably way better shifters out there as well on the market, but I do like the Logitech stuff. It's always worked. Even back when I had my, uh, my G25, and it had literally two pedals. Oh, you're a madman. Yeah, it literally had like two pedals, and... Uh, Yeah, that's never that never let me down that one. And uh, I picked up this G29. Um, I was looking at a G27 for many years, but they were always a bit pricey. But picked up this G29 and uh, yeah, loving it. Never let me down. It's been amazing. I did have to change the um, the springs though in the pedals. Um, I felt like the the shifter pedal was um, a bit too stiff. And uh, I, I, when I press it, I wasn't depressing it all the way. I didn't like that. So I changed all the springs to a lighter spring. So now I've got sort of a firm one in the brake. And then in the accelerator and shifter, they're not so firm. So they're just easy to press down and use. Yes, it's probably not as realistic, but it's just the way I like using the pedals.
and we're actually coming off here down this one. Well, I would have had to because there's a barrier there. I wish that wasn't there, I think I'm saying. I wish there wasn't, you know, barriers and stuff. But what is this? Okay. Police have blocked that road off. Oh, what has happened down there? Big crash. Yeah, we've got to go down this way instead. Big crash that was. A little bit of a side detour, but that's okay. And to get the uh, rescue heli out there then. And so you know it's a big, big crash when the rescue heli's there to airlift people out. Okay, so we are 25 miles from the uh, from the destination. We should get there quite quick now that we're on the motorway. Three lanes. We can really punch it. Now, I will have to update Pro Mods soon when they release an update because the Eurotruck released a new update, 1.38. So, I imagine Pro Mods will be releasing something soon. But if you've got Pro Mods, um, you just have to downgrade your game basically to 1.7, uh, 137, and uh, it should work. But uh, until they release a new one, we'll be playing on 137 for now. Until they release one. Whoa. Almost went over there. Bit heavy. Hopefully this doesn't go into a single lane. saw the objective back there as well. Manchester discovered. So we're making our way through the uh, sort of the British Isles. Getting all the cities down. We are going right around the island, so we're going to need this lane. Hopefully the rest of the AI doesn't mess this island up as they, as they have in the past. And this guy is stopping on an island. Nice. Well, dude. Oh, well. I'm sorry. <laughs>
going in here? And look at that, they want it right there. How easy is that? For our first journey of the of the day. We'll put the parking brake on. It is in neutral. And look at that. Perfect. So, if you enjoyed, I'd appreciate a like and a subscribe, and I'll uh, see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.